Hi, this is April 2nd. This is Dave Gumberlein, and this is the University of Minnesota Shotokan Karate Club. We have a few people training on Zoom. We have more people training in real life, uh, and this is being recorded for asynchronous training for people who cannot be here right now. So please train along. Line up. Swing that leg up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch feet. Keep a little harder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have you ever heard of writing before? You what? First time, my first time. Okay, what's your name? Slightly bend your legs, put your elbows in with your palms up, 
touch your fingertip to the pad here on your hand, roll your knuckles in, just cover up your first finger, put both hands out in front, they do not have to be all the way over, they can be sort of three quarters of the way over. Pull your right hand back and turn it over. Your fist kind of goes where your elbow was a second ago. Then you're going to exchange your arms. Five, twist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, fourteen here, six. Seven. Awesome. Don't get punched in the middle. One, two, three, shoulders up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And roll your arms, switch away. Ah. Squat all the way down. Put your hands on the floor, straight your legs. Squat, straight, squat, straight, squat, straight, and squat. Feet out behind you. Arch. In deep through nose and out through mouth. And push back. Touch your chest to the floor. Stretch your back, your shoulders, your neck. Roll again. Pull your feet in. Sliding. Keep it out, feet apart, put the outside edges parallel, wider, bend your knees, bend your hips, stretch down and forward, and back, push your hips forward, forward, back, forward, back, reach over one shoulder, switch, Side, switch, around, keep breathing, switch, away, and stop, straighten your leg, switch, 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 switch and drop down. Switch, 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 switch. and switch. Stay on the side. Rotate your hip all the way over. Like you're looking in the mirror behind you. And back, over, back, uh, go back, so Lynn, that's right. No, you're doing good. Put your left foot on the floor. Put your right one up there. Turn like you're looking at this wall. Now keep turning and look at the wall behind you. And then come back. And if you don't move, you just pivot back. Stretch your legs. Over and back. Switch over the other side. So ideally, this one would be straight, you end up feeling. This one would be flat. Take your elbow and push your knee out, like the same way that your foot does. Rotate all the way over. Press the outside of your thigh. Back. Over. Back, over, back, over, and back. Pull your feet in, squatting. Straighten your legs down. Roll up. Round grip. Switch. Right side. 
one knee up into your chest, pull it in tight to the center, switch, 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 and switch. I guess one more switch, so that we're on the wrong side. Reach around right behind and grab an ankle, pick it up high, switch, switch, and switch. Check out your legs. This is a punching drill that I wanted to do a while ago, and we will do it now. This is more for beginners and for everybody else. So start again with your feet apart, put your left hand out right on your side. We're going to do a short punch from here to here. It's not going to twist over. During the short punch, your fist goes in a straight line. Your elbow feels like it wants to pull into your belly button. So it's not this way. In, 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 and if it hits something along the way, it would be in line with the height line of it. Short punch slowly. One, squeeze. On the other side. Two, squeeze. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, that's fine. Nine, ten. Wrap that arm in. Oh, excuse me. Uh, so it's not the chest pulling it back, it's rotating it, and it's hanging everything around it. Your center, your heart, your feet. One, two, three, doing good, try to look straight ahead all the time, four, punch for your own limit, a little bit more, so, yep, yep, five, like that, oh, six, seven, oh, you should take your watch off so it doesn't scream, that is your jacket, and for the low, low for you, five dollars. How would you make a profit of it? Yeah. Okay, so in this position when you punch, you may have noticed or not that your elbow is pointing down to the ground. You're going to do the second half of this punch, or the last one, depending on how you look at it, and your elbow is going to continue as much as possible to point down to the ground, not to rotate out to the side. Another sensation is that this is pulling into the middle, and when you punch, it pulls more. It squeezes, 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 squeezes. It doesn't just let go and go away. So try to do that. So here we are in a short punch with your left hand out. We're going to do three. No, we're going to do one. One punch short, line here. And then the second count, you're going to finish your punch, but keep it just as tight as your stomach. Two. One, short, two, pull. One, short, two, pull. One, two, one, two, one, two, one.
continue to move your foot and just do things rather than just stay on your foot just like you can. Most legs are active all the time. So we will try and if we want to see how that goes. Out, your heart. Your left foot is going to move forward and just slightly in and out as you go. Wow. We're going to move forward, in and out of your floor, just a little bit. Two, three, four, five, six. So even though this is an easy throw, because we're not doing anything except stepping forward, pay attention to your spine and your body continuity. Some of you uh, just like go too much. Just move forward, always under control. Or we're going to go back, we're going to move back. One, two, a little bit better, but not great. Then there's this added part where your knee, three, hits the target on the way through. Moving backwards. You're supposed to do it. Um, so when John comes, I'll take them and then you. Um, now we're going to go backwards. Biggest problem, two. Two biggest problems going backwards is people move their butt first and their foot sticks. That's two problems. So move your face. It's pretty well probably try to hit it. Move it back. And then to make your foot move easier, pick your heel up just slightly and then feel like your foot reaches behind you. Don't wait. Okay, now I'm going to you can drag it back. And it's going to reach out the front and reach out the back whenever you move. So pick your front heel slightly and step back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why? Hey, there is for just a moment. So the primary reason to step forward and backwards is you want to deliver shock into the target. And the best way to do that is to drive straight in. You want to avoid up and down because bringing an up part is super vulnerable. Even though it could be argued that there is power to the dropping part, there is. But if you don't make it there, it won't matter. Moving backwards, you're primarily trying to keep yourself safe, so you have to move quickly and efficiently. Which again is just level, so you keep this leg bent a lot. You don't want to move on step one. Don't get aware. And the other thing is uh, how far apart. They always say about hips distance. And there's two complications to that. One is, you have an over-exaggerated idea of how big your hips are. That's not great. And the other one is, in some, especially the smaller stances, they go out as wide as they are long. But not in a front stand, although I've seen people try to teach this. If my goal is to drive energy forward into the target, and I put my foot out to the side, my energy is going that way. So it becomes uh, an experiment to try to see how you can guide everything towards the center. So you want it to be pretty narrow. I'm a little probably more narrow than, than this, but that's because I know I operate better that way. This way, no, no, now you're on a tightrope. You have no balance, you can't get anywhere. So a little wider than straight, but not wider than your hips. Just Whatever you can sustain and drive in, not settle out to the side. Backwards too. And the only thing that messes that up is John, when you need him. The only thing that works with the in and out part is sometimes. Can you come over here for your left leg? right leg. Thank you. Boom. 
So if I'm just here, I might hurt him, I might not. But that in and out is, I'm gonna disrupt his position. Oh, right when I hit him, just, just a little bit. Or when I'm stepping forward, I mean, when you come into here, disrupting him right before I hit him. It's part of the motion. And if he's kind of standing up like a normal person, I want to put, I get hit both. Whack, whack, boom, on my way in. And it's not that hard because one foot steps in. It's not even. I can trap it this way and bend it. I can trap it this way and bend it. I can hit this, trap this, and step on it now. Those are all real things that people do a lot when they start to do kind application. Because you can pin the guy to the floor and hit him. And he's going like this, trying to get away right when you hit him. It's a great idea. So anyway, the vast majority of that talk was, please make sure you go straight forward, even though your feet are going in and out. Don't let your body go to the side. Don't let it go up and down. Now we're in a bunch. We're going to do two counts. You're going to do three quarters of a step this way. Then you're going to do the second half on the second count and punch. Your back leg shots, your center shots. You're drawing your arms all the way your support muscles. Left arm, left leg forward. Right? Three quarters of the way forward. On. Put your elbows in. Keep your body up straight. Finish your stance and punch. Heel. On. Heel. One, two, one, two, three. Pass it under. You can pick it. I can move this over towards the middle a little bit. You can move the middle a little bit towards the middle. Nope, just point the both hands in towards the middle. So not like this. A little bit too much. Let me put your hand out. Uh, try to vertical kick it. Keep your shoulders down, keep your head up, squeeze your legs first, then your hips, then push. Almost too much closer. One! You can punch that. Two! One! Two! Backwards and punch, which is something we don't do very often. And what you don't want to do is step backwards and have a collar going backwards. You mostly want to put your foot behind you and drive forward as the target when you get there. So that point might come at any given time. So if John was attacking me, it could be this is I have to do a separate spot. I'm going to wait all the way to the end and then punch them when it's time. But it could be part way in between, oh, right there, he was open, and that's when he was shot and pulled in, which is why you need both legs active. If I have to wait for my back leg to catch up, I'll always be, always be like this. So, moving backwards, we're gonna step back this far, and you're gonna drop your foot and punch forward. One, reach, two, punch. One, reach, two, punch. One, reach, two, punch. One, reach, two, punch. So it's weird, but don't reach out to the back. You don't free up. Just do a punch, and if I'm there, great. If I'm not, no problem. One. Two, good job. One, uh oh, one jet. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Shot, it's going. One, 
the street. Dan, you hold it. Uh, so he is uh, my target, I set the mapper. This one, I guess. And I go doorway. Pretty good. He applies pressure. Nothing to back it up. I have the shot. So when it comes, I have to squeeze this part and settle down and forward the idea. He starts to push a little bit and I let it flow through me. With whatever you can. But the initial shock is great. The teammate has to be there to pull the gun across. Moving forward, one count, seven punch. Arm! Oh, he's not ready. Ew! So then, uh, if I wanted to shock, I'd use my legs, boom, to chop to make a move or to get whatever. The same is true of arm actions. If he grabs, I'm not just doing this arm. I do my legs, pull my elbow in, pull my body weight to move him. It just should start to be an inherent thing. So the other day, uh, I forgot where, we took an arm out, it was just a Body, this is uh, training. Oh, 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 so that your body does as much as possible. And then later, it'll be smaller. It's just part of it. Just, again, like this is smaller. I'm not doing anything big. We're shocking. We are going to try to make it through hand on short on, even though we have a brand new person. Lynn, are you planning on staying for just the first part of high school? Or are you going to stay for the whole thing? I'll stay for the whole thing. Oh, very brave. Very brave. All right. So. Move that way a little bit. Lynn, yep, take a giant step that way. Yep, there you go, that's fine. When we switch around, I just want you to be able to see people. You're doing fine. We're going to start with the first part of the hand showdown. We'll do it a few times. Then we'll do a different kind of Then we'll do a hand showdown. Then we'll do a different kind of Then we'll do a hand showdown. It'll be marvelous. 
Feet go to the right. Butt to the floor, hand on the shoulder. All right? Yes, what does hand on the shoulder mean? No. Maybe in some of these it did. Uh, it generally means yeah, I mean, feet forward, fall. What's the show button button? No. One, first level. So sometimes in Japanese, they count each knee san chi go, and sometimes they say show knee san no ni go. And the secret why they do that at different times. There's actually, I think, two other ways too. Anyway, it's your part. You have to imagine there's a back over here to our left. We're going to do a downward block and step out into the front there. All right? Let's just step in the lunge. Kilo. Great. Here we go. Stay back up. One. Two. Here we go. One. Two. Now, your foot that's in front and your arm that's in front go way behind you when you turn into a downward block. One. Big circle with his hand on this one. Two, three, step up. Stand back up. You're right. One, two, your front foot and hand reach behind you and turn. One, two, three, stand back up. You're right. One, hips more sideways. This hand much lower. Two. Do it with longer stance. One. Flip over. Two. Bigger. Three. Seven punches. One there. One more time. Yep. One. Two. One, two, three. In and out with your footwork, downward block to the front. One, three, rising block. This hand comes up. One, just a rising block. Two, three. Hand back to the knee. apart. Up your last one. Triple two. Nice. One. Good turn. Oh, very good. I'll smack this really hard. Two. Three. One, two, 
One, two. Shoulders down, Rachel. One, two, three, four. One, turn, two. One, two, three. One, two. Second to the last move here after you went one, two. You did that. Oh, terrible. Don't do that. You did the wind up. Okay, this is bigger. Don't do that. You go up, down. Nah, forget what I'm doing. Up, down. Here we go. Up, down. Up, down. Pull away. One. Push out to the both feet. Keep your head straight. Ew. One. Two. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's so much stronger, it'll build. One, two. Hold this together for a second. Get some pressure here. One, two. One, two. One, two. Three, four. Congratulations, you know all the half of the first cut already. Brilliant. We are now doing. Oh, I don't know. I think we should do technique because I feel like we haven't done it in a long time and nobody actually knows what's coming. Take the shot on. Everybody take a giant step forward. You two. 
two, step that way and jump over there. Top, thank you, Jonah. Yeah. Step. Up. All right, so every stance is this keep it up stance, like we did at the beginning when we were uh, warming up. So all the stances that way, unless you're crossing the bench. Point. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. So on these, you have to make sure that you twist your hip without wrecking your stick. So your knees stay forward, but they move this way. This way. But not this way. Here too. Twist! Start again. I'll take you to it. Three. 
I remembered one side was more visible than the other. I just forgot what side it was. So once I was in a Tikitana where we were at the tournament at the University of Minnesota. And somebody said, you want to be in the Tikitana? I said, sure. What are we going to do? They said, I got it. I said, OK. So I knew the outside was the young guy. One of the guys, that was his main class, and he did it like fourth or fifth round. And the other guy kind of knew. And the mistake was putting the guy that kind of knew it on the wrong side. So he couldn't watch us in the box. So that's why I know there's one side where you can watch all the time, and the other side where you can like, what are we doing? Any questions about Gankaku? You can call it Kuku Mutata, it sounds like Kuku, but it's not. On practice, it's much more interesting. In chapter two, we will see how it was. Come on, I know this. That's what the CH is. No? Oh, no. No? We go like this. We go like this. So, I think there's a prey. Why do not I remember? Not want to be here. That's the name. Not. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Grand Kaku. How's it going, Rachel? All right, everybody back on the floor. Turn around. Um, we're still going to do more kata. Yeah, you can be in the middle, you're fine. Why don't you people who go in the middle? Too? So we're still going to go with this idea that we're going to alternate hand short on other kata, but we're going to go through the other kata a little quicker. So um, don't worry if you get lost. You're doing fantastic for your first day. Unbelievable. So hand short on out
It is a thing that we miss out on because we don't have close partner drinking. But um, some people, they come from other styles. Every time I punch at you, you have a flinch as you take a at you. And that's hard to ever do. Well, maybe not. But um, there's a part of training, I think I said a bunch of sadness, where we have learned a little. Three, four, 
One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Okay, everybody's got knowledge, right? Those are easy. The only one stands. Hands are up. Out. Hands up. Hands up. Good. One, two, one, two, three. Shoulders down. One, shoulders shoulders up. One, two, three. One. So, there was an article online the other day, or a video, maybe it was a week ago, and it was about how Mike Tyson learned to fight from karate from Jiu Jitsu. Now, this would be fantastic if you guys had any idea who Mike Tyson was. <coughs> he was a very, very famous boxer, he bit somebody's ear off. But when he first uh, started boxing, when he came out, he would win match after match after match in the first 30 seconds, first minute, first, they didn't finish. So we would go to people's houses for this pay-per-view stuff, they paid $90 for 32 seconds in, the fight's over. And they play it over and over again. Oh, look what he did here, look what he did. But anyway, the part that is impressive is he's a solid muscle guy, and he twists his hips and drives, he puts the guy up in the air, and then drives to the other side. So it just looks like a, a movie of somebody getting beat up, but it's real. But the thing they didn't seem to get was that whole idea of using your leg to hit the target. That was the totality of his boxing concept that came from karate. Other than that, his timing was really good, but I don't know if you learned that from karate. But he did stuff um, about a guy named, uh, what's their name? There were two brothers that fought in the mid 90s and they were both world champions. And he beat that guy up. Just, and, and one of the guys that was commenting on it said, you know, he made the other guy look silly, but he was a bad boxer. He's a fantastic boxer. He's a world champion. And Mike Tyson was just that much better that he made him look bad. So, and what he did in that particular fight was, we call this send timing. So he's gonna start this pump, whoa, when I hit him. He's gonna start that pump, whoa, when I hit him. He did that, like three or four times, and the guy just saw him down. Michael Strange, that's his name. But again, But in boxing, it didn't look that clear, because they have the gloves and they're moving around. But in slow motion, this guy, whoa, and he flipped that head, whoa. It was unbelievable that you could do that with somebody who can who can drop you with one punch, he was just going for the throat the guy was doing. So anyway, you are getting much better at hitting the target with your legs and body. There's so much to get screwed up. Your shoulders, your cranium, your hips, your but if you forget all that and just use your legs to hit with, it'll go so much easier. You know what I mean? Sometimes you swim. That means I don't get what he means there. Just means you're a little shy. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> okay. Ah, push it up. Up. Push up. Right. Four. One. 
So it's hard because we have not been practicing with speed or by ourselves a lot. The, there's two things that might be related. I think you should change your tempo. Sometimes you go too fast. So I did this kind of for a team, and we were trying to work the timing out together, and you have to make everybody happy and dance because some people are supposed to do the work well and act good. So the timing uh, was supposed to be uh, <clears throat> one, two, three, four, right? You have to do one hand, that's the timing. And we practiced for, I don't know, 45 minutes or something. And, uh, what, how come I'm making this up? Um, it was, well, so we kept going. One, two, three, four, and then it wasn't any faster. And then we came up with the brilliant idea that instead of trying to do the last one faster, why don't we do the first two slower? And it just totally changed our whole path. So we got to go one, two, one, two, one, wait, two, wait, three, four, and it just seemed 
fine. And everybody said, oh, that's actually what that is. And we just walked into it. So it was, sometimes you can't go faster, so the other parts have to be slow. Um, so that was one thing that would change some of your timing, but part of it is you don't finish all of your moves. And I think part of it's not taking the right time. So, that's great. That's not as good. That's not as good. That's great again. So just hit, hit and miss. And then for some reason on these a lot. You don't, you don't finish your hit. So I know I told you that like a million times. Here we go. You got any questions? I would do this. One, two, one, two, three. One, two. You're, you're throwing it at the guy. And then you went like a separate move. One, boom, boom. Hold it. What did you think? Um, yeah, I thought it was uh, pretty good. Yeah, but sometimes you got to like that knee to get too, too much shoulder. Oh my god. Yeah, get better though. Here we go. Uh, let's face this way. And throw it out. Out. Got that. Boy. One. You look at me, then you know what to do. Two.
actually see the joy, but the sound of the joy, the whole joy. <laughs> One more time, empty. Up, oh. up, forward. That's way better. Two, three, four, one, twist, two, three, four, five, very good.